Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. The washroom. Okay, guys and ladies, we have so much to go over, and I'm going to try to do this quickly. My stupid tablet's still not working. Don't understand what's going on with it. Don't, at this point in time, I really don't care, okay? Um, but, let's get right into it, okay? Because there was a lot going on. Okay, as of Saturday, uh, today is Tuesday, July the 23rd, 2019. As of Saturday, uh, the head honcho political and military wing of Hamas went to Tehran, Iran, and met with the clerics, the leaders, and Khomeini as well. And they have pledged their allegiance to stand with Iran against the occup occupiers, which would be Israel. Okay. Um, so, there's that. Um, also, now this is a rumor right now. Uh, but I do find it a little odd that we haven't heard from the man in a few days now with everything that's going on. Um, so don't say, well, Vicky said he is dead, you know, but this is a rumor for now, but it is believed to be potentially that President Erdogan of Turkey had a massive heart attack and died, and they are trying to keep it quiet from everyone. Uh, don't know who's running the country now, okay? Uh, but knowing that in Pergamum, Turkey is where the seat of Satan is, uh, we can be sure to bet that it's not going to be anything good, okay? Um, wanted to touch on um, the massive heat wave that we've had going on at the, in the United States. Uh, it was here also uh, for about six days. Thank God we got a little rain and we got some relief. It was only like 80. It was like 55 degrees this morning. It was awesome. It was so awesome. And uh, about 80 degrees for the high today. Now, naturally, you know, it's going to heat up a little bit more every day. But in Brooklyn, uh, I believe today is their third day without electricity and they are still going through the massive heat wave. Okay. Down in Venezuela, uh, they have had a major blackout as well. The whole country is plunged into darkness, okay? Um, crazy insanity. What a time to be alive. Amen, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, today, okay, uh, there were two Chinese uh, bomber planes and two Russian bomber planes that uh, went into uh, South Korea's airspace, okay? Uh, South Korea's army, they uh, had to, uh, they went in and out of that area, the bombers did, uh, two different times today. Uh, there were 10 flares shot at these bombers and also approximately 360 rounds of ammunition shot at at least the two Russian bombers, okay? Now, Russia did not bomb them, but they were out of their line of travel, okay? And they were warned, you know, extensively. So, there's that. Um, okay, also... Uh, it seems that the uh, British uh, crude oil tanker, the uh, Sterna Impero, uh, has now been turned into a traveling mosque. Yes, I said a traveling mosque with the Iranian flag and a mosque, black and gold mosque flag, uh, hanging from its stern, stern flag, whatever, pole. Um, now, the United States warship and a United Kingdom warship that are in the Persian Gulf have set up a uh, uh, way of communicating with all ships and vessels in the region. 
uh, whether they're tankers or if they're just trying to move supplies back and forth, you know, food, things of that nature, uh, in and through the Strait of Hormuz, which it looks like Iran has basically just shut it down. They are going to search every single ship that comes anywhere near them now. Uh, but uh, uh, they have set up a BHF channel uh, frequency, and the UK and the United States has been uh, putting out a message every hour on the hour for about two days now, uh, saying that if any vessels find themselves in any kind of issue with any Iranian uh any Iranians at all uh, to call upon them and they will come to their aid. Well, now, not only is the United States and the United Kingdom both on this BHF wave channel uh, 16, now it seems that this UK uh, tanker ship that's been turned into a floating mosque is now, I guess, saying prayers right five times a day to Satan, okay? Um, and I say that with all boldness because there is only one God and one mediator between God and man is found only through the man Christ Jesus the Lord. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father except through me. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is the Holy One of Israel. There is none above him. There is none beside him. Uh, he is the King of kings. He is the King of glory. He is the King of lords, and he is Messiah, Mashiach. Uh, you can call him Jesus. You can call him Jesus. You can call him Yeshua. His name is infamous through all of time. Uh, he is the Son of God and the Son of Man. Christ came to save us from our sins, and God the Father raised him from the grave after his crucifixion three days later. He's done it all. Uh, he said, before he gave up his spirit at the cross, he said, it is finished. It is finished. We're just living in the fallout. Amen? Um, but anyway, so now we got all this craziness in the Persian Gulf area and the Strait of Hormuz, the craziness that's going on in South Korea, North Korea now, little, uh, Kim Jong-un of, uh, the Hermit Kingdom of North Korea has unveiled some new mini-sub, uh, which is capable of, uh, dispensing missiles with, uh, nuclear attached warheads <laughs> from the sea, okay? I'm sure they got that technology probably from Russia and China, probably. That would be my guess on that. Um, also wanted to uh, let you know that in the last three, three and a half hours or so, uh, there has been... Uh, Missiles fired from the Golan into the Quinetra region in the far south area of Syria, where Syria and uh, Judea, or the Golan Heights, uh, are connected there. Uh, Syria also has fired back. There are rumors that the Golan is on fire. Now, I know that uh, in Israel, they have been having very high, hot temperatures, 114 to 119 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very hot. Amen. Uh, but all this craziness going on, I mean, it is just something else to behold. Uh, we know Jesus is coming for his bride, and he's coming quickly, and I pray he comes tonight. Amen. The Spirit and the bride say, come. Um but I tell you what, it's, uh, what a time to be alive, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Oh, and we have a brother in Christ. His, his channel is called The Unleashing. Now, in my playlist section, um, you will see where I saved that video today. Uh, it's called, it, it was about Area 51. It's only about 20 minutes long, but I suggest you watch that. Because what's been going on uh, 
this alien nonsense. They are not aliens. They are Nephilim. They are the fallen ones. Uh, I believe they learned how to communicate through this, the AI. I believe that somehow they were they were found and I believe that's where all this technology stuff is coming from. Um, it's just, it's just unprecedented the things that we are witnessing. Um, occasionally I'm hearing this about the peace process. Nothing new is being given out. Um, I know that, um, this past, uh, Sunday that, uh, Hamas was supposed to get their Qatari funds, uh, grants that were only going to be allowed to be given to the people and not uh, Hamas and their uh, jihadi terrorist factions, okay? And they are not happy about that. So I guess that's why they took off running, running over to Iran to see if they can start getting some payments through them. Um, but you know, Isaiah 17, 1, uh, are we fixing to see the complete and utter annihilation of Damascus? Uh, it's already a ruinous heap, but in that very prophecy, it says that uh, it will become uninhabitable, okay? And also, uh, in Ezekiel uh, 38, with uh, Russia... Turkey, Iran, Libya, and uh, the Sudan, or Ethiopia. Okay, now this is what I forgot to tell y'all the other day because I kind of got a little sidetracked, so I'm going to jump right into the Libya thing. Okay, back in, I believe, 2007 or 8, okay, when Obama, the Obama nation, was the president here in this land, uh, he allowed... Uh, one, his last name was Haftar, and he uh, was a believer uh, just like uh, Muammar Gaddafi, okay, of Libya, who was the leader of Libya until the United States took him out in 2011, okay? Uh, now, Muammar Gaddafi was a student of... This Haftar guy. Well, back in 2007, 2008, somewhere in there. Okay, I believe it was more like 08. This Haftar guy comes over to the United States with uh, a bunch of his uh, soldiers and is given asylum in a, land, uh, a part of the land in uh, the countryside of uh, Virginia. And they were able to uh, have their little war games there, okay? And it came out that this guy was actually a CIA operative, okay? And that's what got Gaddafi killed. Okay. Now, in Tripoli, in Libya, you know, there's been fierce fighting now there for, I don't know, two, three months now. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, and it's this Haftar guy, he left the United States, took his little army uh, force, went back to Libya, and now they are over there killing and killing the people, and it's like, either you're going to join with us, or, you know, you're dead, we're going to kill you, so, and they are toppling the government there. So, it's like history is repeating itself because Muammar Gaddafi was a student of this Haftar guy and he, he it was his uh, mentor, so to speak. So, I wanted to let y'all in on that. Uh, we know here in this land, at least many of us do, that have been watching for any time now, uh, we have several compounds and or aka mosques that are... Uh, actual compounds getting ready for jihad, okay? Now, if we start to bomb Iran, I'm quite certain that things are going to start happening here in this land as well, and I pray that you have 
you know, gotten some provisions and taken a few precautions. And I'm not talking about anything that will last you to the year 2050 because I don't even believe we're going to have 50 minutes left here on this earth every day. It's like, really, Jesus, we're still here. Amen. The Spirit and the Bride say, come. If you've never given your life to Christ, the time to do it is right now. Because once the trump of Almighty God sounds and the dead in Christ shall rise and we who are remaining alive and remain shall be caught up in the clouds to meet with the Lord Jesus. And forever we shall be with Him. You don't want to be here for the final seven years. Okay? You do not want to be here when the book of Revelation, the revelation of Jesus Christ, the 21 judgments of Almighty God fall on this earth. You do not want to be here for that. It's going to be nothing but nuclear. It's going to be hell on earth. Uh, we're talking about giant hailstones that weigh 100 pounds each. We're talking about fires. We're talking about people just murdering just to murder Uh cannibalism we're talking about all kinds of evil wickedness because the light will be removed because the church will be gone okay give your lives to christ he is the way that he is the only way to the father he's the only way home time to get on the ark he's coming and he's coming quickly i love you brothers and sisters in christ stand strong in the faith and we'll talk soon maranatha